hello friends today we are going to learn about chapter number 10 that is light reflection and refraction it's a very interesting chapter right so let's start from chapter number 10 that is light reflection and refraction in this lecture what we are going to learn in this lecture we are going to learn about form of light means what is called light also we will discuss about definition of reflection of light we will also have a look on types of reflection of light after that we will understand laws of reflection of light then we will also have a knowledge of what is called mirror and it types we will also discuss and differentiate between real image and virtual images okay so let's start from the first one that is light okay first try to understand that what is called light okay so light first what is light okay if this object is placed in front of you we are able to see this object right night right now but if there is a darkness or if you close your eyes we are not able to see this object so simply you will say that sir in dark there is absence of light so light it makes us unable to see the objects so what is light light it is a form of energy which enable us to see so light is a form of energy which makes us enable to see one more characteristics about light it is non mechanical waves okay now non mechanical waves means the waves which don't require any of medium for its propagation it do not require any of medium for its propagation so such type of waves are called non mechanical waves and due to this non mechanical property only that the uh, sunlight it is reached to us okay between sun and earth there is vacuum there is absence of medium and as the light is non mechanical waves so it reaches to us because it can also travel through vacuum and it enters into earth atmosphere so that is a medium okay so light it is non mechanical wave which don't require any of medium to propagate if there is medium then also it is going to get propagate if there is absence of medium then also it is going to propagate so light it is a non mechanical waves as sound it is mechanical waves so we can't hear the sound of sun but we can get light of sun because it travels if there is presence of medium or if there is absence of medium so that is the important property of light that it is non mechanical waves another important characteristics of light it is electro magnetic wave and as it is electromagnetic waves it gives sensation to our eyes right our eyes get sense due to light because it is one type of electromagnetic waves as you will study that in higher standard that why it is called electromagnetic electromagnetic waves because when they are propagated the oscillations of electrical field and magnetical field 
both are present so that we will study in higher standard but just for your information that this way oscillation of electrical field and this way oscillation of magnetical field it will be perpendicular in the direction of their propagation which you will study in higher standard so light is called electromagnetic waves speed of light in vacuum if there is absence of medium so in such case the speed of light is maximum which is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second which is also nearly 3 lakh kilometers per second which is maximum okay so simple light it is the fastest thing in this universe as it travel from different transparent medium it may uh, its speed can be changed and it is dependent on which uh, from which medium it is passing and the another important characteristics that light it always travels in a straight line okay so light it is a form of energy which makes us enable to see it is a non-mechanical wave which don't require any medium to propagate it is electromagnetic waves which give sensation to our eyes speed of light in vacuum it is 3 to the 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second and light it always travels in a straight line now we know that uh, due to reflection of light we are able to see different objects okay so why and how we are able to see the objects so suppose this is any of source of light okay and here suppose i am having one object and here is a eyes which senses okay now actually what happens from different source of light light is incident on object like this and from that object it bounces back and enters into our eyes okay and due to this we are able to see the object you can't see whatever is at back side even though light is incident on it but it reflects and when it enters into our eye then and then we are able to see the objects okay so this is the concept that how we can we are able to see the object here this pencil we are able to see this object uh, because light is incident on pencil and pencil it reflects that light back and when it enters into our eye then and then we are able to see the pencil okay now from this the another important concept our second concept that what is called reflection of light so reflection of light now let us understand that what is called reflection of light okay so for this reflection of light we will require a plain smooth surface here we are having a smooth surface okay so suppose this is our smooth plane surface okay now from any of source of light if the light ray is incident or when it strike to this type of smooth surface here i am drawing a normal to the surface which is perpendicular okay now this is our incident ray okay so when any of incident ray it strike to this smooth surface and it bounces back in the same medium here you can see that this is our incident ray this is our normal and this is our reflected ray okay so let us uh, see that reflection of light what is reflection of light here you can see that incident ray it strike to the smooth surface this is our point of incident okay 
so incident ray it strike to the smooth surface and it reflects back it bounces back in the same medium so this phenomena is called reflection of light so here in short we can write like this that it is a phenomenon of what of bouncing back of light okay it's a phenomena of bouncing back of light and here you can see that incident ray and reflected ray both are in say a uh, plane so bouncing back of light in same in same medium on striking to the smooth surface okay so it's very clear that reflection of light is a phenomena in which there is a bouncing back of light in same medium okay so simple uh, here we understood the concept of light then how we are able to see the objects and the phenomena which is responsible for observing the object that is reflection of light and definition of a reflection now we are going to understand about the third one that is types of reflection